Everyone puts music now in their outgoing answering machine. Can we knock that off? This drives me nuts. You know they spent five hours going through their album collection to find the one song that most represents what they're all about. You know, like you're going to call up and go, Wow, Joel's into fusion jazz. Maybe I will go out with him. Please. We have, we have too many phone companies now. Whose idea is it to break up AT&T? I, I, Sprint and MCI are bugging me all the time. It's on, I got a call a month ago. I'm like, hello? Oh, MCI, yeah, what is it now? Yes, I'm still a Sprint. Oh, you'll paint my apartment. <laughs> no, you can't come over right now. Uh, Sprint's here doing my laundry. <laughs> Don't ever switch companies. I made the biggest mistake. I left Sprint for MCI, and now Sprint is worse than any ex-girlfriend. <laughs> I have ever had in my life. I'm afraid to answer the phone now. Hello? Oh, Sprint, this isn't funny. No, you've got to stop calling here. Look, 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 it wasn't you, okay? It was me. I changed. It was too much too soon. I had to hit the brakes. No, you can't come over. Now, look, you did not leave phone jacks here. Stop it. Cable stations. Now, when is this going to end, this hunger for new stations? Every week, a new cable station. I want to make up my own lousy cable stations, you know? You know what I'd like to see? How about the 24-hour 7-Eleven surveillance camera channel? <laughs> Just people squeezing Twinkies from around the nation. Or that airport x-ray machine you have to walk through? That would be a good channel. That would be good. Now, coming up next, people with vibrators in their luggage. <laughs> I would watch that. No good porno on cable. You know the most evil people in the world are Canadians. No, you know, because they always act friendly and nice. Hi, we're friendly people with brown hair. Wrong. There's only one reason they come to this country, to put Canadian coins in our change. <laughs> you can never get rid of them. You ever try to get rid of your Canadian coins? I try to give them to cab drivers who've been here a week from, like, Iraq. These guys don't even know U.S. currency yet. They look at me and go, no coin with moose head. Okay. I'll just carry these the rest of my life. Actually, I came up with a way to get rid of them. You know what I do? I carry them with me at all times. And now, when homeless people ask me for money, I just give them all my Canadian change. You know, if we all started doing this, eventually these guys would all have to move to Toronto to get coffee. I went to the ASPCA to adopt a cat. Isn't that nice? They asked me for a reference. They put animals to sleep if no one takes them. Isn't this nervy? It's like, how about a cat owner do I have to be? They're going to go, sorry, Mike, your reference didn't check out, so we're going to kill the cat ourselves right here. I'm sure the cat would love to know about this program. He's in the back sweating bullets on Kitty Death Row. Like, Wait a minute, you're asking for references? I'll take my chances with a Vietnamese family. <laughs> Doing medical research for Revlon, okay? Just open the door. What do you say the, to these idiots when they call you up? Yes, I've seen Mike with cats and cat-related products of all kinds. He seems to have a real feel for the materials. I understand he has a Garfield calendar as well. That's the cat, not... I know you thought that was a President James Garfield joke. Awesome.